Yeah, if you don't like me, that's your problem. When I let it bother me, that's my problem. And I got enough problems. I got enough. I got the sauce. You got the sauce. But I care what you think about me. Cause I don't think about you at all. Real ones, they don't talk about you. They talk to you. When they can't miss you, that's when they take a shot. When they throw stones, then you know they don't rock with you. Don't you ever let them know that the talk got to you. Ooh, I'm about my business. My father, my family, my head is you. Never paid my bills, so why pay attention? That's none hey. of my. Good everyone, thank you so much for tuning in for to the live show today. My name is Ruben and on my side I have Hey everybody, my name is Luto and today we'll be talking about the influence of social media. Stay tuned. You're in a pair of your boxes playing warfare in your Xbox. Welcome you work back. Pet shops. Here we have our panels joining us. On my side we have Magona, Melinda and Asipe. And obviously, on my side, we have the better side, obviously. <laughs> on my side, we have Tumi, Simi, Gabriel, and Nom Trevo. All right. As we mentioned today, we'll be talking about the influence of social media on our lives. As we know, this could be good and bad. So, for example, the good things about social media is that we've seen businesses rocket and grow, such as Pretty Little Thing, Galaxy Boy. We see you guys there in your mazazas looking good. You know, we've seen Fashion Nova do the things. And we've also seen careers grow, such as, you know, an old one, Justin Bieber, going viral. We have Mishali, we have Nasizwe, and more Gellings. Some of the negatives of social media is the effect on mental health, cyberbullying. You know, and that's what we're going to dive into today. Viewers at home, if you wanted to participate in our show, comment and let us know what you guys think. So guys, let's open the floor. What are your pros of social media? Um, okay, if I'm thinking about the pros of social media, I think it's a really great platform to market yourself as an individual. I think just like the businesses like Duolingo and... Um, pre little thing, all these businesses um, and even personalities that have managed to create a lives for like a life for themselves with social media is insane. Like I've seen careers like completely change overnight on social media because somebody managed to use the platform really, really well. So I think that social media is just a really great platform for ourselves to use to create the best version of ourselves that we want to have or show the world. Um, and one that isn't, you know, malicious and problematic and all that stuff. Yeah, where people are free to express themselves yeah. no matter the career they choose, whether it's makeup artist, it's um, artistic, yeah. whether it's business growth, right? I, yeah, what about you? Well, I think social media really has a great impact on us. As, oh, personally, I, uh, I mean, I've grown through social media. There are some people that when they go into social media and they see uh, some people, uh, let me rather say celebrities, uh, and they want to idolize them and they want to, you know, all that. Mm -hmm. But personally, uh, I've seen that and I've been able to evaluate whether do I want to be this or do I don't want to be this. Mm -hmm. So I've been able to choose who I truly am and find my true character in things like that, whether do I want to follow this or I do not want this. Do you have anything to say? For me, social media has... It has like its pros, obviously. Um, it's a very broad platform to promote businesses and things like that. And from my experience, I feel social media is a great pr platform for like career, especially career, because some of us pursue in media, and social media is the perfect platform for us to pursue in such careers. So yeah. Oh, and I don't know if this is just me, yeah. but uh, you know when you. Okay, this is a bad habit, but like, you know, when somebody posts something and you're like, you know, you go to the comments just to see what the controversy is in the comments yeah. so you can like, you know, stir a little, stir the pot a little bit. And then you go and you have like debates. And I found I've had the most interesting conversations with people that I don't know yeah. on social media. Yeah, you learn a lot, hey? You learn a lot. <laughs> like you find out a lot and then you have these like interesting, like stimulate, like really intellectually stimulating debates online. And I think it's such a great platform to even grow your perspective okay. because you go from knowing some like things that you, like finding out things that you never could have even 
thought about interacting with in your entire life um, just because you like post tweeted back on something or commented on something you know yeah I think the beauty of social media is that you know it's worldwide we're able to learn about all these different cultures especially through all these amazing platforms that we have such as telegram TikTok. the fact that now you can know you know what you never thought of going to Thailand but you saw someone seeing a reel in Thailand you're like mm, let's plan a holiday let's go to Thailand you know and it kind of entices you to you know explore your view and it kind of doesn't put you in a box but it's just on like the palm of your hand I think those are one of the great things about social media let's talk a little bit about businesses are there any businesses you've seen personally that have skyrocketed because of social media you know for me personally I've been seeing a lot of these common looking dresses okay it's not that it's a shot at anyone but on Shein I don't know how you pronounce it shine Shein whatever yes that blew up you know another good thing <laughs> so another good thing about social media is because it's that you sometimes you don't have to do the marketing yourself sometimes the people on it yeah, do the marketing, marketing for, for you, you. so th i think that's what happened with sheen basically a lot of people talk about sheen and showing off their nice little hauls i think i've seen you do that wow <laughs> um <laughs> no okay see the thing is sheen yeah i i think sheen was one of those businesses that like I don't think it would have gotten anywhere without social media. Correct. Um, and I think, like, if I'm being truly honest, the quality of the stuff is not great. Um, it's not like... <laughs> we're not taking shots here. Come okay, on. no, we're not <laughs> taking shots. But I mean, I just think, like, it's she and it's just one of those platforms that has really managed to, like, completely ch revolutionize how it's viewed because of social media. Yes. Um, like, for example, I'm currently wearing Shein. Oh. Shein. <laughs> but, um, I think, I, I don't think I ever would have even thought about the like, site without social media. So I think, yeah. Yeah, I think I've also had that experience where, you know, have you seen when someone's doing, like you mentioned, like a reel on their TikTok, and you'll be in the comp, be like, girl, where did you get those pants from? <laughs> you know? Yeah. And you know, the uh, fact yeah. that like social media actually be the plug, it's the main plug, yeah. you know, and without it, and eventually when you want to have your own business, you know, at home, viewers, it's such a great way to market yourselves and grow. Uh, so as we've seen, they also really good benefits to social media, such as social movements we've seen. We've seen, and a great example is Black Lives Matter. We've seen that, and the beauty of it is that we don't have leaders to these movements. We don't have to worry about them being tracked by the police because of social media. All right? So let's see what our audience likes to think. So as we said before the ad break, there's many good social movements on social media that have been that are there to spread positivity, spread awareness. And on my side over here, we're gonna they're gonna talk a little bit about some of those movements that have been going on. So, what can you say about that? Um, so, I feel like social media has done like quite a lot of things where um, social movements are concerned. Because I feel like, for example, let, let's take myself for an example, right? Um, say I see something wrong. And for me to like get it out there without social media is like nearly non-existent. Say maybe um, I see a police officer doing something wrong. Chances are I'll be like, <laughs> okay, also take this amount of money as well, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, but with social media, what I can do is I can actually record what the cop is doing and post it out there and it just like blows yeah. up. Yeah. And I feel like to a certain extent, um, we might be having some officers where like, coming straight because they're scared mm. to be like revealed out there mm. so um i actually do feel like where social uh, movements are concerned um social media has been like quite yeah you know quite the thing like it brings a lot of awareness and it actually like it makes it makes people aware and that makes the authorities take action where action needs to be taken so i yeah, I, I, yeah so that's, true yes so for like the Black Lives Matter movement, you know, and as you were saying how you, you could record a police officer treating you incorrectly, you can, that could instantly go viral because you can just put it under the hashtag and already it's just because of that hashtag has an X amount of views, just because of that popularity. This person, you know, we're we low-key kind of putting the bad guys in jail at the same time. 
And also, just besides these things, we've seen like with the earthquake that ha happened in Turkey, we've seen how social media has um, helped advocate and how we've seen people donate through social media and charities being reached out by this, you know? And as you mentioned with the police officer, not just keeping people in check, but also businesses, you know? We had the incident with Balenciaga oh, yes. and social media said, what? <laughs> you wanna do what? You know? <laughs> So, you know, so I think social media is such a great platform for us to be able to keep businesses in check. Do you guys have any other things besides Balenciaga where you've seen businesses go, actually, come on, guys, you're falling off the track? Okay. Um, not necessarily on the business spectrum, but however, as a social entity as a whole. Mm. So social media is a positive platform allowing those who are voiceless to be able to ha have their says and their interest at heart being exposed and let people know about what is already happening about them. So it also is a space, a social space, not necessarily on the social ills, and all, but also on the things that are also positive. Hence, it helps to also bring forth to things that somebody may not necessarily be aware of at that particular point mm. in time. And it brings that awareness. It also challenges your thinking. Mm. It challenges your perspective. What so have true. I been thinking about myself? Yeah. Well, as a young person, what are the things that I desire that I want to look for? And what are the things that actually have been working and the things that have not necessarily have been working? So, so now true. I've got to make positive choices mm. for this person that I'm seeing as a person that has been prospering in their life successful. What were the channels that they had been going through? The failure. So the father says, failing is good so that because you learn in it and then you're able to push ahead so correct. if i fell today i don't have to be crushing oh myself my gosh, but correct. i've got to look ahead to the others and so there true. i am i prosper oh we love it man trying to be in your it girl era you know trying to be in your it girl era i'm in my bag <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't to get in your bag do you have anything to say uh, so there's also the environmental point of view, Correct. where we look at movements like saving the whales or the Correct. turtles. It can help so much just for people to open their eyes to see that there's a problem here. Yeah. There's something wrong. There's something that needs to be done. Correct. As you're going to say, that was actually one of the talk, um, topics we're going to talk about, how social media, like we mentioned with businesses and people, that it's also sh forcing them to live sustainability, trying to live a greener life, how yeah. we're trying to keep uh, people in uh, check. For example, uh, for example, Sheen, your favorite. We know that oh. they were a slave factory and social media picked that up. And we were like, no, guys, you can't be a slave driver to people. So it does do that and we've had great companies that advocate recycling and trying to be greener mm. you know do you guys have anything else to say more about pros that we haven't that you think we could add actually if you're a viewer at home you can also say something i mean there's a live chat so if you have anything in mind anything that you want to say you can always just say it and we'll probably read it aloud and then we'll communicate on that as well yeah just whatever sound oh, yeah text, text, text. Text. yeah, yeah. Text, text. <laughs> yeah. all right and our panel on this side, do you guys have anything you guys would like to add on this uh, thing so far? So in terms of the, you know, business perspective and things being like, sustainable. yeah, sustainable all that stuff and being yeah. greener, um, I think, yeah, I think that is very true and that a lot of businesses have become a lot more aware of their like sustainability because they fear, and I mean shaking in their boots, cancel culture. Um, and cancel culture, it, it comes, and it, it will come for your life. It is so real. It will come real. for your life <laughs> and it will come by the neck it will have it has business in Dude, a chokehold you will be sleeping next thing you wake up and your business is trending on twitter <laughs> <laughs> and not for the right reasons and not for the right reasons you're gonna be cancelled black twitter's coming after you Peter, and what you gonna do sales are going <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> like that is a direct like i think that's just the most obvious like you know how 
social media has really created and i mean you could argue so cancer culture is bad mm. um but it does have the benefits in that it forces businesses and like celebrities to remain accountable so i think that's a very obvious reason um or example where businesses do really well because of social media but like an obvious example of a business that has thrived off of social media is impact for christ ministry (laughs) we're literally on a social media platform right now and if you're watching from home you're on a social media platform right now so i think like you know social media does really have the ability to touch and reach a lot of people Mm. um and like just with the ifcm platforms you know people who are scrolling and come across this you know jesus you know? loves you you know yeah. and it's like people are yeah. getting saved on social media yeah. like they're finding um you know they're being connected to god, god. through social media yeah, so like, it's like it. it's crazy how many like things can be done through social media how many people you can reach with those so- through social media and yeah i think for example when you stream at home let's say you can't make it on sunday Correct. in back in the day it was done you couldn't come. You couldn't come to Nothing. church. You, you have to be, wait for the repeat to on the Tuesday, repeat on Tuesday. Thursday. <laughs> first of all, the choose, the the repeat for the first service will be on Tuesday. Then for second ser- service, you have to wait for Thursday. <laughs> exactly. Like you know. And, and back then, did we have lot sharing also. So let's say Tuesday comes at six o'clock. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> exactly. But now you have like this platform where you can just scroll back and watch entire service by yourself. Yeah. If you're chilling at school, chilling at home, chilling at work, you can just honestly. And you can stream it while and be you're listening driving. to the, you know like there's so many other platforms now for you to just tune into the service tune into these things so yeah i think it's a fantastic use of social media all right so let us as you're talking about accountability and how we can interact with people like through the palm of our hand we need to also acknowledge the fact that social media also helps us keep in contact with people who are over the seas You know, the fact that you can talk to your friend who you were in school together and now they're in America living their best lives while you assume they are. And you can still, (laughs) you know, keep in contact, right? I think that's also a really good benefit. The fact that we're actually able to keep track of our friends whereas our parents didn't you know like i don't know if you've had if you've been walking in the mall like the mall with your mom and then she'd be like hey and you're like who's this and like no we went to school together and now you don't have to experience that shock now you're going to see your friends pregnant and you're like okay congratulations whereas now you're not going to see your friend with four kids 20 years later you know at least now we're keeping track of the four kids throughout time yeah. you know you're not going to be shocked it's like yeah, oh okay yeah and and uh do you remember when we had uh covid and it was locked down oh, no. so Social media was the real thing yeah. back you then. Know. I mean, we had TikTok. TikTok kept people busy and it was all fine. You could I, be scrolling the whole day I watching like endless that was, videos. That was a very good time to blow up, hey? Like, yeah. It was a very good time to blow yeah. up. Yeah. 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 You could like, just post anything and then next thing you know, you sleep, you, you, you wake trendy. up, you're famous. You're <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. You know, like such great people come from that. Like Kanisa. Do you guys, okay, Kanisa, she blew up through TikTok. Yeah, TikTok yeah. I feel like guys, we should have, you know, we should have been wiser. We should have did the things in TikTok yeah. during yeah. 2020, but you know, <laughs> you know, would be viral living our best lives. All right, so we've talked about the goods of social media on our lives. Let's talk about some of the negatives. So the negatives of social media come talk about like cyberbullying, you know, the effect it has on our mental health, the fact that I've also seen that Okay, hustle culture is great. Like, I'm for it. Great, do your businesses and stuff like that. But also at the same time, it's just like it focuses on one thing too much, you know? And it kind of skips the steps of success. Like, people, we don't see the small steps of someone being successful. All of a sudden, like, you're 23 and you're driving a Merc. Hi, <laughs> Bobo. <laughs> how did like, you get there? How, how did you get there? And social media doesn't share that. And I feel like it puts pressure on us to be like okay all right 23 i have to have a merc 25 i have to be living in a mansion and it's just setting such high expectations and unrealistic expectations on ourselves and you know it's not only about in terms of business and success sometimes you can look at someone and you just see that this person is like you compare yourself to them and you Mm. say this person is more physical he's taller than me Mm. she's more beautiful than me she's Mm. got bigger eyes and you know it gives you that impression that I want to be like this person and it makes you look down on yourself so yeah that's that's another thing that is very negative people are going into diets we're trying to lose weight we exercise (laughs) yeah you we're trying to get that body that you saw from who 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 and 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 (laughs) 
I think the when I remember you brought up like TikTok during lockdown. Yeah. Whoa, wow, it was deep. Like gotcha. the the way it, it was almost like an obsession, mm-hmm. you know, where it was like every single second you're spending on. And the thing about TikTok, it's ooh, you will spend one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, and continuing as if like as if time suddenly just does a let's go, phew, and yeah. you don't even know like how it happens. Like, I remember what you're saying. Because you know, be like, okay, I'm going to sleep. And then before you go to sleep, let me go on TikTok. You're not even praying. You said, let me go on TikTok. (laughs) Or you know, you're stressed because lockdown is doing the most to you. Like, oh, let me go and laugh. Let me watch people. You know, let me, you know, lighting myself. It's no longer a thing of, let me pray before I go to sleep. It's now, let me scroll a little before (laughs) I go to sleep. Anyways, I don't like talking too much about negative, but we'll get more into that again after the break. Welcome back, everyone. So today we're talking about the influence of social media, the good and the bad, or the good and the ugly. So just before we left for an ad break, we were talking about the ugly of social media. And we were talking about cyberbullying and the effect it has on mental health and our image. We kind of slightly touched on the BBL era. So what do you guys think about the negatives of social media? So personally, I feel like social media is very, very addictive. Like, I personally tend to tune on my phone instead of doing my work. Mm. And then I find myself slacking because I'm on social media and not doing the real thing, you know? I find myself, like, misled most of the time because I see somebody on social media And it seems like they're living their best life, as you said earlier on. They portray an image of something that is not there. And then I put myself under pressure to say, wow, they are making it. Mm. What about me? Mm. And I compare, this person is my age, and I tend to grade myself to say, no, maybe I'm delaying myself. There's something that I'm doing that is wrong. That is so true. Actually, talking about that, you know what these people do? The trick they do is that maybe they send you like a notification saying someone has started following you or i don't know there's a new video or something or like instagram says this person liked your video or something and then you click on it and then you start scrolling and you'll be sitting there for hours but you've got homework you still have to study there's still this and that and it's just because of these notifications and you know it's actually bad because that happened to me before coming here so (laughs) (laughs) That happened to me that sometimes, you know, like you mentioned, like your work, sometimes it's, you see, because now because of COVID, you can have this hybrid life of being working at home and going to the office in and out. And, you know, sometimes you'll be there in a meeting and you're scrolling through TikTok and you're not paying attention. And then they're like, uh, Luto, do you have anything to say? And you need to be like, uh, 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 come again, please repeat your question. You know, so it does kind of, you know, affect us in that way. Yeah, yeah, I'm um, true. Actually, so I'm. Um Talking about pressure, right? So, okay, let me come to sp- um, personal experience. I'm not saying I was doing it. Um, someone else was doing it, but yeah, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, it's right? okay, even if you were doing speaking it. Speaking for your friends. Yeah, speaking <laughs> for your <laughs> friends. Speaking for your friends. Friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, guys, the pressure is real, right? Mm. So The pressure is getting like, worse. <laughs> <and Westa. laughs> <laughs> so, as my guy said here, right? Um, so, you get like pop ups, right? So you see people making it, everyone having money out there, right? Mm. And sometimes they do show you how. And turns out sometimes it's like this forex thing going on. Yeah. Ooh, and you tried. Mm. And you tried. Mm. You're going to make it, I'm telling you. I, I mm. made it. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, I made it, yeah? Mm. Ooh, yeah, bro. Mm. The pressure is real. Because I feel like everyone out there is like making it. And the fact that you're not necessarily like in that level. You kind of like start comparing yourself and you try by all means to get to that level. Mm-hmm. And in you trying to do that, I mean, yeah, y- you see what happens. Yeah. So one of our viewers asked about misinformation on social media. And we know that fake news, you see, that's even a new term because of social media, fake Free news. Free. So how do you guys think we can filter our, how we receive news, right? So like Twitter, you know, sometimes on Twitter, Oh, every, someone is always dying on Twitter. <laughs> every day, every day. <laughs> you know? 
You know, even before Rihanna got pregnant, Rihanna was always pregnant on Twitter. Twitter was forever impregnating Rihanna, you know? So how do you think we can filter misinformation with so social media? Um, so I think that, um, okay, so social media is like a very good tool when it comes to information, right? But I feel like you should not just take everything you get in social media to heart because, mm. I mean, you could get like a heart attack straight away. You yeah. could find that um, your school blew up, for, for an example, right? Say UJ <laughs> blew up yeah. and next thing you're like, oh no, you, you yeah. finish. So I feel like in as much as social media is like good when it comes to information, um, you should just be careful on what you like take into heart because, yeah, it could like really, really damage you. And a good way to help you filter um, information you receive from social media. And as we know that Twitter is a place where most people get the information. We're not saying that everything you get on Twitter is incorrect. But sometimes wait for news articles to be published. Because as we know, social media makes news just like that. So wait for it to be published and like double check before you, know, you give yourself a heart attack as you mentioned. All right. And then another influ uh, negative of social media, FOMO, the fear of missing out. <laughs> FOMO is a good thing, but also at the same time, it's a bad thing. Do you have, for example, you know, you'll see people posting there in their stories, you know, oons, 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 oons. <laughs> and you know you have an exam tomorrow. You know you have a presentation to client tomorrow, but you're looking at your friends and you're like, Sabawal, yeah. I want to be there. Yeah. You know? I want to be there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so FOMO. So have you guys have instances um, where you've had like, you know, FOMO? Well, that's very true. Again, in addition to that, social media is a home wrecker, a dream stealer, a home destroyer, a deceiver. Correct. I appear as if where else I've got next mm. zero. So coming to think about it, a question coming, what are the things that I need to post out there about social media? I've got to make sure I protect my family. Wh who do I know that some, how do I know that somebody is scouting after me and may use me for my family? So they will be checking on the social media platforms, Googling about me, what is happening about that. Jealousy is a reality and it's out there. How do I know if somebody's happy about me? Does social media portray the me that you see now wearing this t-shirt or it gives the person that I am inside that you cannot see? Mm. Deception. Where is the line there? The truth and where is the lies there? So uh, reality is those are the dangers, the images that are portrayed. Photoshopy. Do I truly look like this or I truly like mm. that? Catfish. Catfishing. Yeah. And catfishing is a real thing. If someone can post someone, I'm living this type of life, and then you get to know them, then all of a sudden, please 50 rand. And you're like, sir, you just posted a Ferrari. <laughs> 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 the, like, you know, so, you know, catfishing is a real thing. And another thing, uh, a negative of social media, is that it reduces human interaction. Mm. Yo, that's true. You can spend an entire Saturday you can spend an entire Saturday sitting in your room scrolling when you could be having a life. Mm. Yeah. All right, panelists, is there anything you guys would like to say on this side? You know, these trendsetters, our influencers, everything like that. So for me, I for one fell for that peer pressure of being, you know, being captive of engaging in such activity and that drew me away from living life. And I even lost myself in the process. Right now, I'm still rediscovering who ACP is and whatsoever. So, yeah. I, I, have, I have an experience with social media and it's a bad one. I've seen people purchasing her, like you mentioned, her bags and all that. Like, I don't even have the money to afford that. <laughs> but... <laughs> I sweat, I try, so you see the pressure, instead of saving for things useful, I could buy myself a new laptop, a new phone, you know, just useful things, but I'm trying so hard, I spent to the last time to get all these material things and just to, like, fit in, hopefully I recover. That, yeah, that, that one is real, um, yeah. but I think especially in terms of, so, I know something that I came through was the idea of like, how do you even know what to post mm -hmm. on social media, because everybody's doing like, the, the looking good, the, the hustle, like the hustle culture and everything. So why don't I myself? Um, I think with 
one thing and i'm not really sure where this came up but um advice that i got for one when it came to like posts that you make that you think are like questionable is if this were we put up on a billboard that every single person that you know and i'm talking about like jobs um future job interviews your boss your your principal for example your teachers whatever if they were to see that billboard with that social media post on it what would they think of you and that was like a reality check for me because it was like oh hold on <laughs> hold on and that's the reality of digital footprint is that if you're going to post something on social media then every single person on that platform has access to that piece of media mm -hmm. even if your account is private it's going to come up again so i think that was like a huge like oh okay so this is what i should be thinking about when doing that in future and also another question um like I, that helped me realize what to start posting on social media was if somebody who i needed help from saw this would they still find a reason to help me so it's like if i'm really struggling i want like for example a job and i've been searching for one i've been searching for one and everything but on my social media i'm posting i have cars I got bags, I've got all these other things, I got money. And what reason does the person who's seeing this have to help me if that's, you know, like what you see? Correct. So uh, as we're talking about, we're going to actually, do, as we've jumped the gun, one of the topics was social media etiquette. Mm -hmm. So you've mentioned when you're posting stuff, think about what your future employer, mm -hmm. how, would they employ you, whether because companies screen people before they employ you. Also think of how when eventually you start marrying and what what thing, and then now, because we've all done it, you know, stalk people, right? Mm -hmm. You know, when someone's like, I'm dating someone, you're like, ah, what's his name, surname? <laughs> <laughs> and you do a quick search. So, you know, we have to also remember that this is how you're presenting yourself to people who don't know you or could potentially know you. So just think of something you would also look down at, like, 10 years from now and think, are my kids going to be happy with this? As, as my spouse will be happy with this? Am I going to be happy with this? Because we're forever changing as people. And another thing about social media etiquette, which I don't think is spoken about, I, I know we like FOMO, we like posting, this is where I'm at, this is where I'm at, this is what I'm doing. But another con of social media is stalking. Yes. So for you, forever posting your routine could be a bad thing. You saying so someone can know that okay i know she's at the gym at six and it's this gym at this area and then i know she works at this area and this area so these are th these are things you genuinely need to think about you know yes. so guys what other social media etiquette do you guys think you know we need one needs to think about um in terms of social media etiquette um i think uh, when it comes to like you were saying with the routine thing i didn't even think of that it's so dangerous and uh, how i am mrs daily routine <laughs> how much a day in the life with me let me, let me post this <laughs> vlog <laughs> and the vlogs the posting and like you you've basically told everybody this is where i'm at exact point in time um at this point in time i'm at home so my house is free and empty for you to come and steal correct even so hmm. someone just you posting your like a daily vlog you waking up someone looking through your window sees that building opposite your house ready done and Yo, dusted no way you stay you are someone done I know that McDonald's. <laughs> so I know, it I know that the curvature of that M. <laughs> um, I think also, like, one thing I've tried to do more, this is heavy on the try, like, heavy on the attempted to do more, was... I mean, A for effort. A for effort, you know, <laughs> um, is kind of think of social media as, like, my brand. So when I'm posting things on social media, I post as if I'm talking to my mother. Because, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. If I said to my mom something like you know in person yeah. and that's not something that like if i post something on social media and i wouldn't be able to say to my mother it's not going up because next thing somebody's like you know what that's what your daughter's posting mm. and sends it to her so that's one thing that i kind of try to follow um i don't really succeed but you know i tried try yeah. Yeah. The try. and another thing with social media etiquette make sure that what you post you stand by it 20 years oh. from now we had an incident with someone who wanted to run as miss south africa yes. And a tweet that she posted six years before running as Miss South Africa, a racist tweet, she had to pull out of the competition. Wow. Life so, the, comes next year. you know, these are things you need to think about. How is my future employer? How is this going to affect me? You, you know? So, these are things one needs to think about. Another thing social media etiquette don't be a troll. 
Don't be a social media bully. Don't be in people's comments. And, you know, as we mentioned, it does have an effect on our self-esteem as people. Let's not add to that. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, that's actually a very good point. Hey, You could break one's life into a million pieces just, just by one comment. Hey, we, we, You could get someone having suicidal thoughts and all that just because of one comment. You could be like, I, I, I want to train a... Uh, I want people to see me through this comment, but yeah, you're crushing someone's life, hey? You know, one thing I've seen, especially on Instagram, when a girl posts a picture of herself and then all her friends, all the other girls under we her comment you. section, oh, oh, girl, queen, but as guys, as guys, Silence. as guys, Silence. when we post a picture, who comments? Who? Yeah. Maybe your mom. Maybe your mom will say, oh, my son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we don't get those uplifting comments, but, but you know, that's another topic. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like, let's, you know, remember and learn to be kind on social media. Treat people how you want to be treated on social media. And remember, make sure what you post, that you're not going to regret it. Make sure you're happy with it. Make sure you comment what you comment, that you're going to be happy with it. As much as you can delete something. I don't know. One. You can delete a tweet, but someone already took a, a screenshot, yeah. and now you're trending. Yeah, right? So, you know what, guys? Just, you know, think of yourself, think of your family, and friends. And gents, remember, when you see your friend, your homie posting, comment. Comment something nice. <laughs> Say something nice. <laughs> Stay tuned. Welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. So over here, we have a few comments from our live chat on YouTube. Obviously, if you didn't participate, shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> but if you did, thank you so much. So the first person over here, we have Michelle Kiriboni, who says, social media gives the notion that you are not doing enough or rather are not enough. You will find yourself celebrating a milestone achieved today and then doubt, doubt creeps in because of someone else that's yeah that's very true and it's so like we need to work on that guys we correct that. and here we have bernice shibure she says he, oh i'm sorry they say you should have a reason why you are spending time on social media because you can easily be misled and misdirected mm -hmm. so ha, know your why and yes and then we have kilebukhile mohajane who says now i have an hr old wanting to advertise her jewelry business on social media well i think that's a good thing you know <laughs> i think that's a brilliant thing yes but obviously it's the parents should guide the child and you know thank you so much guys that's it for tonight but you know it catch us same time same place tomorrow bye, bye.
prone He's right beside me Hold my hand in a valley Lost but now you found me I don't know where I would be Don't know who I would be, yeah, yeah Came through when I need him, he's a rider yeah. All my haters, you know he be fighting, yeah. I never had no one to stick beside me, yeah And when it's cold, I know he got that fire Money.